we're here with 2-2 after our 2-1 home win against Bedford Sports this evening. Uh, Toots, well done, congratulations on the win. What was your take on the match this evening? It felt like a thoroughly good contest this evening. Uh, Wednesday night, lights and um, action, non-league action. It felt like a real proper confrontation. Um, Harrison Williams is new at, the, at, at Bedford and he's building his team. But you can really see his trademark of how he's trying to build a team that's competitive at this level. So, mm. as expected, the pitch was horrible, the conditions are horrible, and the opposition are in our face. But it just asked character from the Leatherhead team, which um, we delivered on tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, when we came out, I think we came out of the blocks quite quickly in the first half. Uh, had an opportunity to score, I think, on something like the 13th minute. Dave was a little bit unlucky, hit the post, and then from, uh, well, from the same break, managed to get there was a cross that came in directly after which he got his head to which was tipped onto the bar by the goalkeeper so we put a lot of early pressure on them uh, at the very start of the game but they they did come into the game didn't they gradually bit by bit yeah i think it's um we, the, the last week and a half we worked really hard on how we start games mm. because it's been a weak point for us within the last three four games so i was super happy with that in, in that regard to hit the post hit the crossbar and have a goal line scramble within the first 20 how we adapt and then control games. I thought we didn't do it as I'd expect a Hayden Bird squad to do. Mm. And we didn't re react to their front three, front four pressing and the spaces they left behind. So it's, um, yeah, you factor in everything, the opposition, the conditions, and you look at the team's own motivation and what we wanted to achieve. And there's going to be spells in any game of football which you have to ride out and really knuckle down and just concentrate on that shape and back, get back to our idea of how Leatherhead want to play and what we expect and how, how they play. Yeah, you hit them on the head, so the conditions were difficult out there. For those fans that didn't make the game this evening, the ball was holding up quite a bit, wasn't it, on the pitch? And you certainly saw that, you know, when we were trying to play those passes, they sometimes weren't quite making you know their full destination where the ball was holding out. So it was difficult for the lads today. And I think defensively, um, there were certainly times when some of the, both back lines found it difficult to control the ball when the ball was coming over the top and you saw some mistakes creeping in from both sides, to be fair. Uh, and I think that was absolutely down to the conditions. Yeah, I think you're right. When you said mistakes there, I think it's as players, we're talking about what we can control and how much we can dictate to the opposition. So it's taking away the errors in our game and then reducing those errors, reducing the risk and then bringing the control back into our favour. Yeah. Extremely difficult tonight, extremely difficult. Yeah, it was hard. And there were mistakes up until the 92nd minute into extra time. Yeah. So it's a great learning curve for this young group. And they build and they get relationships and coming through difficult moments like this is where you build the character and the team solidity. So I'm so pleased we came out on the right end of the result. I expect it to come out on the right end of the result. But uh, football is not straightforward, so it's a really yeah. good achievement. And I'm proud of the boys' work this evening and really committed to getting that result because it's crucial points that allow you to climb up the table. Yeah, excellent. I think at half time, you know, Neil at half time. It didn't look like it, it looked like it was going to stay Neil, Neil you know, up to the 90 minutes, really. A um, couple of goals, Keno, nice strike from Keen. We know he can hit the ball well when he's connected with that one, lovely, and brought us level very quickly after, of course, Bedfon took the lead. And then, uh, well, Mr. Reliable himself stepping up at the end there for a penalty and slotting that home. Yeah, the, these are key members. So <coughs> Hayden came in and changed the team around, brought his players in and tinkered with the shape. But these guys are bedrock. They are led, they had through and through. And we've been trying to get Keno into the right zones because his, his quality is immense. He can see a pass, mm. excellent technique with the shot. So he was in the right place at the right time and made the right decision. So that's a credit to Hayden shifting the midfield and pushing him a bit higher so he can be there for key moments. And Tarps, um, I was calm. I was watching it. The conditions were great. Tarps was on the ball. I felt confident. Yeah. We got a bit of luck because it squirmed under the keeper. But you, you, earn, you earn it. We, 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 we struggled this evening. We gave everything out on that pitch and it was deserved yeah. and the most important thing we got three points at the end of it which is fantastic so we move on to Saturday another home game playing Northwood of course last time we played them at their place they came out 3-1 winners uh, what are you expecting from Saturday's game? I'm uh, expecting a great game uh, difficult opponent they really know what they're doing great shape and they understand their jobs and their roles uh, they've lost a couple of weapons since we last played them but 
they believe they can achieve something this season. So it's for us to go there, show that we've grown as a squad and match their ambition and then raise them. So yeah. it's, we're going there to win. We're oh, sorry. They're coming here to our patch. We're playing to win on the day. Good. Um, it's going to be a great game. They're hard. They're a hard opponent. And the team is, they've been together for a little while now, season and a half with, uh, with minimal changes. So uh, we respect them. They're coming, but we're playing to win. Brilliant. And on that note, good luck. Well done tonight, first of all. Great three points at home in difficult conditions, it has to be said. And good luck for Saturday. Cheers. cheers. Thanks for Have your time. Thanks for your time. Cheers, cheers.